a very exciting event and thank you for inviting me here and I just want to uh, congratulate Michael Keevely and uh, smartsearch.ie and all the organising committee for organising this. It's a very worthy cause and um, I have no doubt that the people of Galway will come out on the 10th of June and uh, support uh, this very good cause in great numbers. Um, I tried a little bit of retro walking there a minute ago so it does do you good. Gareth is telling me it has great benefits uh, so I think it could be a new craze here in Galway. So just well done to everyone, and uh, I hope you have a very successful fundraising event. Good evening. Maybe I should do some retro running with me. What do you think? I think, I think she should. Really. Or with Gareth. Do you want to practice your running now? Do you want to try? Okay. This is why she's the bear. Oh, you can come in, you can okay, no, I need to. I need to commentate on this. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. 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 <laughs> and in association with Alzheimer's, uh, we are putting on this novel uh, uh, event, uh, retro running. Uh, the uh, event itself will be held in South Park on the 10th of June. Uh, the attempt, we are going to attempt a new Guinness Book of Records, which stands at the moment at 539. And along the way, we hope to raise much needed money for a very, very worthy cause. And a few people I'd like to thank, I'd like to thank the Mayor, uh, Gab Daherty, the world champion retro runner who came here today and is going to be here as well for the event itself and will be uh, giving tips on training along the way on uh, the social medias and, uh, and our website and all that. People can join up for this, this novel idea by uh, signing on to Smart Search and uh, there are There'll be uh, sponsorship cards there which they can download and hopefully raise as much money as they can. As I say, it's, it's a very worthy cause. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> by Gareth Doherty, the current world champion in retro running over a 3k distance. You're in Galway today to launch Ireland's first retro run. First of all, tell everybody what is retro running. Retro running is simply the sport of running backwards, just the opposite of forward, except it's uh, three times better for you. Tell us, how did you become the world champion? Well, I was uh, just running forward in the park over three years ago now in a hot sunny day with my top off and I just turned around to face the sun coming upon a shelter part in the park and uh, I just kept going and I saw that the, the children were really fascinated by it and I said I'm going to keep this up and then I, after three goes of it I said I'm going to do the Dublin Marathon backwards for charity. So do people look at your funny character when you're running backwards? Yeah, but uh, humans love to stare, so at least they've got something to stare at now. Tell us about some of the benefits of retro running, because I'm quite intrigued by those. Well, it'll burn three times more calories than, than forward running. It works out the opposing muscles. Um, it increases your VO2 max and your blood circulation by 25% more than forward. So it gives you great forward running form. Uh, the Chinese have been doing it for 10,000 years because they believe it delays the aging process and slows down time and fixes your bad back. Going, going, going in one direction all the time, um, you're, you're slightly bent over. Uh, going back will make you taller because your spine's in partial extension and uh, it gives you good form because it, it gets you up on your toes. in order to raise much needed funds for Western Alzheimer's. Tell us a bit about the charity first of all. Yes, Joanne, I suppose uh, the charity was uh, founded uh, back in 1990 by a man called John Grant, who's our present day CEO. Unfortunately, he can't be here today. But he got together with a group of people. At that time, there was no support out there. No, and people had people with Alzheimer's. They didn't know what it was. 
and they had no nothing to turn. So they got together as a group and uh, through that over a period of a couple of years, Western Alzheimer's was formed. And uh, it is a, a separate organisation from any, any other national organisation. We're totally autonomous. We base here in the west of Ireland, Cover, Galway, Mayo and Roscommon. How many people on average do you help every month? Literally hundreds of families. And I mean hundreds. I can't give you the exact figure, I, I, I don't want to give you a wrong figure, but literally hundreds of families being helped uh, every day. And I mean people see our home in Ballantyne, which is our respite home in Ballantyne, and we've also a long term home in Acton Rye. But apart from all that, we have people carers going out into people's homes throughout the three counties in small villages and towns unknown to anybody, going into the homes of people with Alzheimer's, giving the carer a break. And I suppose Joanne, the one thing about our organisation is, okay, we obviously want to care for the person with the Alzheimer's, but really we're there to help the carer because they are the people who are 24-7 trying to look after somebody at home and we're there to support them with our in-home support, our day care, respite in Ballantyne and long stay in Athenry. Five, four, three, two, one, go!